Well, good morning. Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Like always, I'm Clayton Schick and you know it. This is the outdoors. We're up in Adam early. Sun will be rising in about 40 minutes from now, maybe half hour. It's just starting to break daylight. Already got the boat running. Just keeping it in the dock, in the uh, dock here, the launch, the marina area is so nice overnight. Literally just jump out of the cabin, unplug the charger, fire it up, warm it up, and head out. It's so ideal. Not like, not that trailing your boat isn't hard and launching it and all that stuff. It just saves about a half hour, right? You get out there even quicker. So anyways, I guess I should give you a proper introduction. I am still up at Keenanau Lodge in Northern Manitoba, lake trout fishing. Had an absolute blast yesterday. Put 10 lakers in the boat, nothing giant. 33 inches was the biggest, but the average size was awesome. I thought about maybe doing an all day troll today, but I want to catch a big one casting more than anything. So I'm going to start with casting. Probably some bigger baits to start with too. I talked with Chris last night, the owner of the lodge. He said that the bigger baits are definitely something that if you put a lot of time into, it can pay off, right? So he's caught a bunch of big Lakers here, puts his clients on big Lakers steady. So it'll be interesting to see how they do today. He's rocking a nice new Lumacraft over there. Yeah, he's got two of my buddies with him today, so I wish him luck for sure. Anyways, let's get on the water. Won't be any video until I'm fishing, but would you believe this? October 1st, and I'm in shorts. Yeah, I know, crazy. Well, I really like the weather we're starting with, a little bit of chop. Water's still warm though, 55 degrees. We're, and it's not gonna get any cooler today. This will be the coldest part of the day. But we're gonna make the most out of whatever we can. It's just gorgeous right now. It's a little bit too dark for sunglasses, but I wanna be able to see the follow. A little bit of chop to start with. Let's do it. It's a beautiful morning on this October 1st day. Chuck the big bait for half hour. And not that I'm not gonna go back to it. I just feel like the water's still so warm for that big bait yet. It needs to be colder. There we go, there we go. Took a little bit, we got one. Took a little bit. We hooked up, can't tell size yet. Can't tell size yet. Looks decent though, looks decent. Spot lock right here. Look at that sunrise. Not a bad fish, colored up, beautiful fish. Beautiful colored up one. Awesome, you can go, you can go, yeah. You can go. Beautiful fish. Average size here just continues to amaze me. This one's actually pretty nice. This one might be my biggest of the trip so far, possibly. I think. And I went to something a little bit smaller. I just feel like the water's still a little bit warm for that big bait. Not to say if you throw it all day, it's not gonna happen. But I know that when it's on here, you can throw that big bait and rock them. Yeah, this is probably my biggest of the trip. Beautiful, colored up fish. So strong. Love how strong these things are. I'm just waiting for the right opportunity to bring them up and scoop them because I don't want to bring them to the surface for too long. They always look a little bit bigger, deeper than they do when you get them up. And then you're like, oh, it's not as big as I thought. Come here. That's a good one. That's a nice fish. 33 and a half. But look how beautiful. Like a 33 to 35 inch fish is a gorgeous, gorgeous lake trout. Look at the colors. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, girl, thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Beautiful fish. We well, always gotta keep, keep working. We're gonna get that 38, 39, 40 incher eventually. We just gotta keep chucking, but that was awesome.
There we go. Awesome. Awesome. Can't tell size. Doesn't feel bad though. Does not feel bad. I'm gonna get a spot lock on here right away. Can't tell. Oh yeah. Just another another quality fish. Just another quality fish. Unbelievable. Crazy the average size. These things are fun. So much fun. Beautiful. Another colored up laker hooked right on the outside. A little bit smaller than my first one this morning. Went back to a small profile again. Maybe I don't even show the clip. I did throw a larger swim bait for about another 20 minutes, half an hour, and literally about seventh, eighth cast with a smaller profile. I get bit again. We'll get you in the net, I think. Show you off, get you back. Actually, you know what? We're not even gonna net you, I don't think, here. We're just gonna pull you up right here since you're hooked right on the outside. So strong. Look at the color of these things. They're so awesome. Another 32 inch lake trout, probably. Big head. We're getting them. See ya. So I'm still running that same bait that I filmed my first video with here. 4.8 inch tickle tail with a Kalen's Google Eye swim bait jig, half ounce. Literally just casting it to shore, popping it back, reeling it slow along the bottom. And then when I feel a pickup, giving it a solid hook set, a big thump. We just gotta keep putting in our time and I think we'll catch a bigger one eventually. I like that I have to work for a little bit. This is good. There we go, right at the boat. Little guy though, right at the boat. What a little guy. This is the smallest of the, the trip. I didn't know they made them this small here. Oh, well, one we could eat right here if we wanted to. Rode a 20, probably 23 ish, something like that. Oh, I'm sitting on top of a little hump right now. I just had one chase me up, but it's been slow. It is 1.22, so I've gone like two hours without a fish. I've seen, oh, that's a nice one. That is a nicer fish. I'm seeing lots of fish right now. I just can't get them to eat, so I'm going to stay anchored here where I am, though, because I'm seeing so many. I'm going to try some different baits, maybe some smaller swim baits. Well, I don't know, just going to switch it up a little bit because there's fish here. I just can't get them to eat, so I'm not sure what it's going to take. There we go. Nice. It's been a lull, and all I did was just go back to, oh, I can't gain on him. Okay, there, I think I got him now. I think I got him now. I could not gain on him, which is really weird. Beautiful fish, colored up. I can just see him, beautiful fish. Wow, gorgeous. Oh, it has been a while. Like, it's been a long time. And all I did was, you know what, said Clayton, let's go back to just pounding some shoreline. And it has paid off with a gorgeous fish. Look at the colors on this thing. I've thrown a bunch of different baits today and I'm back again to the tickle tail. I don't know why it's been so good, but it's been unbelievable. I literally just tied this one on, just. I'm gonna put you in the net because you're just a beautiful fish. Unbelievable colors on this thing. Very beautiful fish. Come on, there we go. Got her, not a giant, but gorgeous colors. I'll turn around and probably try to get better uh, lighting with this big camera. Look at how beautiful this fish is. Unbelievable, another quality fish. I should get a measure on them, but nah, it's okay. 
another 30, 33 inch fish, we'll say, because that's been the that's been the average size for the most part. Beautiful. Look at the colors on this thing. Oh, gorgeous fish. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. All fired up. See ya. Yeah, I've <laughs> I think I've gone about four hours, four and a half hours since my last fish. I had one strike on the perch line through shad and actually a big one that followed up after like a 37, 38 incher. But that was like one strike with it and that was it. I'm just gonna keep picking apart shoreline. We can do this yet, we can turn this day around. Just tied a new one on too, fire tiger head with a white body, I think it's called Silver Ghost. And just, like I said, picking apart shoreline. Oh, yeah. I thought it was the bottom at first. It really did, just like happened yesterday. Same thing, thought I was on the bottom. It ended up being a, a lake trout. Not a monster, just a beautiful fish. Just a beautiful fish. Well. It's two fish in a little bit shorter period of time or closer together than what I was doing anyway. Fish five of the day. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. Nice colored up fish here. Or sorry, not colored up, I meant to say. Okay, yeah, easy. Easy. Another beautiful fish. I'd say 29-ish, maybe 30. Gorgeous. I'd like to do some other lures right now for Lakers, but this is definitely my confidence bait and I gotta stay with it for now. Well, a few things I've noticed on this trip, and it could obviously change trip to trip or lake to lake even, but I've done better when I've moved around lots. Whenever I've stayed in one area and seen a bunch of fish and tried to fish those fish, I haven't been as successful. If I'm just moving and chucking, that has been my, my best bet so far, is just to cover as much water as possible. I saw a bunch of fish in one area and I, st I stayed there for like two and a half hours because I just saw fish cruising through there like crazy. And they weren't the same fish either. They're all different sizes and I never got bit at all. So I think it's definitely better to, to move around so far from what I can tell. Like, like I said, every lake's gonna be different too, but the thing is these lake shell right now, all the, water, all the water is like almost the same uniform temperature. They could literally be anywhere right now, like anywhere. Their holes go from, you know, these little deep holes in the middle of the lake in different areas to like literally the whole lake. They could be back in back bays, two, three feet of water. Of course, they're gonna have certain areas that they spawn on, uh, some sh shoals or sh um, shoreline, stuff like that, certain areas. That, but those fish are a lot tougher to catch though too, the fish that are spawning because their mind is on something else. So keep that in mind. If you see a bunch of fish like I did earlier, they're probably spawning fish and a little bit tougher to catch. You wanna catch those fish that are, sorry about the wind noise, they're actively cruising, looking for bait, fish, that type of thing. There we go, there we go. This one's got weight to him. This one's got weight to him. That's nicer fish. That's better fish, I think. I think, I think. Nicer fish, yeah, here we go. Oh baby. Oh, it's a rodeo with the waves too. That's a good one. Pretty sure it's nice anyway. I, I have a feeling it's my biggest anyway. It's my biggest of the trip. Oh yeah. It's got a beat up top fin. I don't know what the best way to do this is. I think I'm just gonna drift a little bit. I don't want to spot lock because I'm gonna get a horrible camera angle if I do. Here I am, more worried about the camera angle than the fish, right? Out of white Clayton. Typical Clayton. Power. Just power. Oh, I love their power. Unbelievable. Not a giant, but not small. I'm sure this is my biggest. And this will be my six fish hook today. If it comes off, it comes off. Again, it was just like, I was just near the bottom. I don't know, it was just like all of a sudden there was weight. It wasn't a hard thump at all. The last 
Last three strikes have been like that. At some point, I'd like to get to the other side, walk you around maybe because of my net. Can you come this way with me? We'll see, we'll see. Let you do what you want. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Big fins, baby. Oh yeah. Water makes it look a little bit bigger than it really is, or than I think it is, but it's a nice fish. Easy, easy. We got her. That's a gooder. I'm pretty sure that's PB of the trip. Yeah. 34, 34 incher. Well, it is the PB so far, but just by half an inch. Quality of fish have been unbelievable. This is such an old fish. Like, look at the lips on that thing. Unbelievable. Oh, short, <laughs> stout. It's, it's got it's got good weight for its length, that's for sure. Okay. Beautiful. And gone. And gone. Quite the difference from yesterday to today. Yesterday, glass calm. Today, hurricane. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Man, if that would have been big, that would have been so epic. That thing actually spooked me a little bit. Oh, right at the boat. Unbelievable. Wow. Oh, so good. So good. If you would have been big. Wow. Having this chair in the front on a rodeo day is quite nice. This one's got a pile of energy, so I'm not even going to show it off to the main camera. I'm just going to let it go right there. Nice, probably, I don't know, 27, 28. This is the first year that I've been running Dakota lithium batteries for my trolling motor battery, 24, 24 volt system, 100 amp hour batteries. I'm testing it today. Trolling motors on like five, six the whole day. It's gonna be interesting to see if I make it to the end of the day because it's been working hard, but so far so good. It doesn't feel like I've lost any power at all. Oh, I thought that was a fish. Not the, not the actual after the hook set, like I knew right away when I was holding it. It was the bite bite, which was rock rock. There we go. That one felt good. They all feel good when I first get a hook into them though, right? Man, yeah, just like I, just like I figured. It's, it just feels better when they first hit. And a lot of times they smash the bait, like they smash it. Very cool. Just a, just a smaller guy, but that is fish eight. You are a caught fish, my friend. You are a caught fish. Unbelievable. Easy. Smashing. That paddle tail crushed right in the side of the mouth. Okay, hooks out. Get her back. Well, for having a slow start for a little while, we have stepped up our game. And I'm going to say it's because we're at we're moving around. We're not getting caught in a rut. They always feel better when they first hit. Like, always. Because when they do, it's like, when they first get stung, they just, like, give these vicious side-to-side -side head shakes. And I've seen it underwater, too, like, on the underwater camera in the winter. It's so cool.
for the most part, I'm just reeling this swim bait in slow. If it gets close to the bottom, or like if I'm feeling a tick tick, I'll reel a little bit quicker. But I want to be relatively close to the bottom, I feel. Casting out, letting it sink, getting it down to the bottom, then reeling it in nice and slow. That seems to be the ticket for the most part. I want to try to get pretty close to the bottom. I don't want to constantly be banging it because you get snagged, but I want to know that I'm tight to bottom for sure. There we go. There we go. Nice. Just dragging the bottom. Keeping up with the same plan. Doesn't feel that big though. I can't tell. You never can tell at first. Sometimes they feel big, sometimes they don't. I do know it's head shaky. That's a nice fish. That's another quality fish. Awesome. Found a nice hump in the middle of nowhere here. If you can kind of see over the last two days, I've done a bunch of circles around here and slowly charting it all out and paid off because I just caught a fish off of it. Auto chart is so amazing in these lakes that aren't charted. You can create yourself a little map quite quickly. Just, I keep mine on all the time. Honestly, I honestly keep it. See if I can repeat myself again. I honestly keep mine like on all the time. Nice. We're gonna anchor here. Beautiful. Am I gonna put you in the net or am I gonna grab you? I should probably, you're pretty rambunctious. I think I'm gonna put you in the net. I think I'll put you in the net, my friend. You're pretty rambunctious. Oh. Easy. Easy. Okay, here we go. Number nine of the day. Oh, you know, just another one of them cookie cutter 31 inches. Unbelievable. Oh, this one's bleeding a bit, but she wasn't gill hooked. She was hooked right in the top of the mouth. She'll be okay. She'll be okay. See ya. So look, over the last couple days, just driving around, and the first time I drove over, I noticed it was shallow, and I drove around a little bit more, and then as I fish, I just keep everything on. And it's slowly building a nice map. As you can see, there's some kind of hump all the way throughout here. A little bit shallower there. So we'll key in on areas like that for lake trout this time of year. It doesn't always have to be shoreline, even though that's what I've scored on most of the time so far. Sometimes you can see out in the middle of the lake, you can find little hidden gems, that kind of stuff. Auto chart is honestly an amazing little tool. Like... I use it nonstop. It's helped me figure out bodies of water a lot quicker than if you didn't have it. I went over rod, reel, all that in the last video and I'm li literally using the exact same setup. So if you're curious what rod I'm using, just watch the first video from this series. It will be linked below. This is video two up at Keenanow Lodge. Still got two more days after this yet, and I'm looking for the big mamas. Well, that'll wrap up the day of fishing back in, how should I say this? I guess it's kind of like a motel area. This, we're staying in the accommodations where they have their all-inclusive guests. So they have, I think, six bedrooms in here at least. Don't quote me, it could be more. But they have like, as my room, it's a mess with all the charging stuff like always, but here's a room that's made up, bed, night tables, closet, all that good stuff. And then they have an uh, area in here with uh, sinks and then showers and bathroom stalls. So when he has a bigger group of people that do like an all-inclusive in terms of like meals, guided trip, all that. You, everybody has their own room. It's pretty nice. And then he has the big cabin as well, if like the do-it-yourselfers, which 
I will actually do a tour of maybe in the next video or in the fourth video or something like that. But I still got two days to Laker fish. We're probably gonna try to do something different tomorrow. Maybe troll all day, I think. And then do one day of like straight casting. We'll see. I'm not too sure. But anyways, like always, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, get outside.